your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Ron Young. Welcome back everybody. It has been an outstanding Saturday, but we're seeing an increase in clouds, but the rain is still a long way off from the area. But we do have a sunset. You're looking at your uh, Bear Creek Smokehouse uh, Skycam in uh, uh, Marshall, Texas, and it looks pretty good right now as the sun is setting, but rain? Nah, nothing going on here. It's all well to the north of us where our relief from the heat and promising rain resides well to the south, south, uh, north of us. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, high temperatures so far since midnight last night include 98 degrees in Texarkana, 97 in Shreveport, 93 in Mount Pleasant, also a 93 degree reading for an afternoon high as we go all the way up to De Queen and even Magnolia. Now it did get a little warmer as you head to the south, 95 in the Marshall area, same as we go into uh, the Minden area, 97 in Center and in Shreveport with a 96 degree reading as we go into Mansfield and the hot spot tied with Texarkana, 98 down in Natchitoches. So it's been a hot day. However, our heat advisory is going to expire or will have expired by the time you watch this at eight o'clock. And will we have another one repeating tomorrow? I think we may escape a heat advisory. We're gonna see some changes coming up in that forecast. And looking at your radar satellite composite, there's some rain to the south west of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Here is our weather maker right now, still well into the northwest of us, but there are some showers and thunderstorms as you go far north. This, along with a trough of low pressure and the cold front, that cold front is going to stall out now, is going to kick this high pressure, the one that's been dominating our weather, going to kick it over towards the upper go uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico, and it's just going to go gone. It's out of here. So we will have free rain for this system to move into the Arklatex, promising to bring us some beneficial rainfall and some cooler temperatures and lower humidities as well. Now as far as for tomorrow on your Sunday, we do have a severe threat. It is in the northern parts of the Arklatex, which will be along in either side of Interstate 30. That is a marginal risk, which is the lowest risk, one out of five, this being five, it's uh, or one. Lowest risk, there will be some heavier storms to our northeast, but let's go right on with your future cast. Robbins Toyota future cast says uh, as we go into Sunday at 7 a.m., may have a few showers and thunderstorms out ahead of this system. Just depends here. Won't be making much out of it tomorrow. The chances are not going to be that strong. Uh, as we go into your Sunday at 7 p.m., not much there, but the front itself is going to try to go stationary, and it will waffle around for a while. And then, as we go into Monday, 7 a.m., may see some rain coming in from the northeast, and that dissipates. But as we head into the afternoon, there will be more showers and maybe a rumble of thunder anywhere in the Arklatex, but that's going to be very few and far between. As we go into your Monday at 7 p.m., we will be watching that front kind of stalling out. And after that, we're going to have to wait a little while to see even more rain following it. Tuesday, we may get a great 4th of July. That would be kind of nice not to have the storms for that. And we will see some clouds increasing on your Wednesday by 9 a.m., but everything is going to lead to the better rain chances across the northern parts of the Arklatex, even in southwest Arkansas, much less of a chance as we go through your Wednesday that we're going to have that much rain. However, there are more rain chances, one every day, 20% uh, for tomorrow, 94, 94 with a 30% chance, 93 with a 30, 94 back up just a tad as that cold front comes in. 91, 89, and 92 with your Thursday and Friday are a better chance of productive rainfall and maybe a few storms. Keep it here. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 